Welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Now today I'm taking you to an event in the Stuart period, but it concerns a Tudor man. For On This Day in History, the 31st of March, 1631, metaphysical poet, satirist, lawyer and clergyman John Donne died. Now, Dunn served as a member of parliament, a royal chaplain and dean of St. Paul's. But he's best known for his poems, sonnets and epigrams, which included the meditation for whom the bell tolls and the erotic metaphysical poem, The Flea, which is thought to have been written in the 1590s, so in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. Here are some facts about this famous metaphysical poet. John Donne was born in Bread Street, London, in his father's house in 1572, although his exact birth date is not known. He was the son of John Donne, warden of the Ironmongers Company, and his wife Elizabeth Hayward. His maternal grandfather was John Hayward, the Tudor playwright and poet. Donne was brought up a Catholic. Dunn was educated at Hart Hall, Oxford, and then studied at Thavies Inn, an inn of the Chancery, before being admitted to Lincoln's Inn, one of London's inns of court. In 1596, he joined the expedition led by the Earl of Essex and Lord Howard of Effingham to Cadith, and then again in 1597 on another voyage. On his return, he worked as secretary to Sir Thomas Egerton, Lord Keeper of the Great Seal. By 1601, Dunn was serving as a member of parliament and had embraced the Protestant faith. In December 1601, he secretly married 17-year-old Anne Moore, the niece of Lady Egerton. When her father, Sir George Moore, found out about the marriage, he had Dunn arrested and imprisoned in the fleet. Dunn was soon released, though, and was able to prove that the marriage was valid. Anne's father cut her off financially as punishment. The couple had their first child, a daughter, Constance, in early 1603. In January 1615, Dunn was ordained as a Church of England deacon and priest, and he served as a royal chaplain to King James. Dunn's wife Anne died sadly in 1617 after giving birth to their 12th child, who was stillborn. Dunn preached the funeral sermon. Dunn was also a diplomat being sent on an embassy to Germany in 1619. And in 1621, he was made Dean of St. Paul's. Following King Charles I's succession in 1625, John Dunn was made a prolocator to the king. Dunn died on this day in 1631 at the deanery of St. Paul's and he was laid to rest in St. Paul's Cathedral on the 3rd of April 1631. His memorial thankfully survived the Great Fire of London and can now be seen in the present St. Paul's Cathedral. Now Dunn didn't just write poems, he also wrote sermons, religious verse and treatises, epigrams, songs, satires and translation. His poem The Flea is about the writer, the man, trying to persuade a woman to have sex with him. The Guardian newspaper described it as sharp romantic comedy and I'll give you a link to read it for yourself. His Meditation 17, which begins with the words, Perchance he for whom this bell tolls may be so ill as that he knows not it tolls for him, is also very famous. My favourite bit is this. No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. If a clod be washed away by the sea, Europe is the less, as well as if a promontory were, as well as if a manner of thy friends or of thine own were. Any man's death diminishes me, because I am involved in mankind, and therefore never send to know for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. 
I really love that. It really speaks to me at this time. I'll give you a link to read more about John Donne and his work on the Poetry Foundation website. And by the way, although his name is spelt Don, D-O-N-N-E, we know that he pronounced it Dunn because he actually uses it in poetry and rhymes it. So we know exactly how he pronounced it. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 31st of March 1532, King Henry VIII was left fuming after Friar William Peto likened him to King Ahab and Anne Boleyn to Queen Jezebel and preached against his quest for an annulment of his marriage to Catherine of Aragon. And you can find out more in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe by clicking just round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. And you can, of course, give me a like and leave me a comment. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, welcome to On This Day in... Hi. <laughs> Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Now, I'm actually a satirist, lawyer, and clergyman, John Dunn. Something. What? I don't know. Died? I don't know. It's kind of run out. March 1631. Metacritical. <laughs> Here are some facts about this famous metacritical. <laughs> <laughs>